In the Division I competition, the St. Joseph's Academy Red Sickers defended their state title from a year ago, setting records in all three relays along the way. Individually, Mary Claire Beaver won the 100 free, while Cameron Balkin won the 100 breaststroke. Fountain Blues' Kara Kopsko set a record as well, breaking the one she set last season in the 200 IM. The new mark is 55.43 seconds. The Red Sickers took first, with North Shore and Mandeville coming in second and third. On the boys' side in Division I, the defending 2011 champion, Catholic High, sought to defend their title. The Bears held an early 14-point lead, but the Blue Jays of Jesuit slowly chipped away at the margin, cutting it to just four points through eight events and one point through ten. The young Jesuit team then pulled away for the state championship win. Every year these guys buy into the program and what it's all about. And honestly, I think the reason why they do is because of the tradition that we have at Jesuit with the swimming program. The Bears went 1-2-3 in the 200 free, with Colin Bone winning the 500 free. Sean Peretti of North Shore was a double winner, winning both the 50 and 100 meter freestyle. In Division II, St. Scholastica took home the girls title for the second straight year. It was a total team effort as every swimmer in the meet scored points for the Doves. They had two double winners. Madeline Rawls won the 200 IM and the 100 free, while Christian Jennings won the 100 back and 100 fly. Division II boys state champions, Ruston High School. For Ruston High, this is definitely a first, especially in swimming. You know, just to have some success and hopefully it will help the program grow in the future too. And it means a lot to me. I've never, never had any of these, this level of swimmers as a group. So it means a lot to me personally. In Division Three girls, the ladies of Episcopal High School in Baton Rouge took home top honors. Episcopal had three girls finish in the top eight of the 53. We get up at 4.45 in the morning and, start, and work out, do dry lands and stuff, and then go back in the afternoon and swim, and it's just like all, every day of the week except for Sunday. It's a lot of work, and it really pays off, though. It's amazing, because we've all worked so hard, and we've bonded, and we came together and we pulled it off, and it's never happened at a fifth school for girls to win. Notre Dame's Aaron Traham broke the 53 record, swimming it in 21.51 seconds. Parkview Baptist's Danielle Miles was a double winner, winning the 200 and the 500 free, while UHI's Emily Rush won the 100 free and 100 backstroke. The Division III boys title came down to the final race of the meet, the 200 free relay. St. Charles Catholic edged out Edie White for the title. St. Charles Catholic's Gage Alima won the 200 IM and the 100 backstroke. We were hit hard by Hurricane Isaac. I had. Almost half the team got water in their house during Hurricane Isaac. We were out of school for two weeks, and we were um, out of a pool for another week, so we didn't practice for three weeks after Isaac. I knew uh, that they could come back even through the adversity that they had been through. New Orleans-based school Newman swept the boys' and girls' titles in Division Four. Patrick Reese set two records, one of them the 100 backstroke. He swam in 50.62 seconds. He also set a composite record in the 100-yard freestyle, swimming it in 45.84 seconds, breaking the record set back in 2003. His teammate, Harry Brown, won the 2 and 500 freestyle, while Alexander Bahat won the 200 IM. For the girls, Newman's Angela Sherbonnier won the 50 free and the 100-meter breaststroke, while Helen Keyes won the 100 back. It means a lot, especially with the recognition of swimming. It's not always a sport that's visible to other people. It's not always a sport that gets a lot of recognition. So this year we're lucky to have, um, we're coming right off of the Olympics, which gave us a lot of recognition. And also now um, the school brought home two state titles for the boys and the girls. So we're going to get that as well. 